Assalamu alaikum. Today our lecture is on power supply filter and regulators. We also discuss about rectifiers. When we give the input voltage AC volt input and we get the pulsating DC voltage. This is not pure phone. So we pass through the filter circuit and get ripples. First we use the capacitor input, input filter circuit. When we connect a capacitor in this form and we make the circuit like that. What happened in forward bias from T0 to the peak value of input, the capacitor is going to charge as the voltage is dropped. Now the peak value, the capacitor is maximum charge. When the voltage is dropped, the capacitor is going to discharge. From this point to there, the capacitor is discharging point. From peak value to the zero, the capacitor has maximum voltage and it acts as a output voltage. And the current passing through this loop across the RL load resistance. So the capacitor is going to discharging from there to T0 because T1 to, to T0 the capacitor is also a reverse bias and it no current can pass through this uh, loop or circuit only the capacitor current flow through the circuit and from T2 to this point the diode is forward bias so the current again pass through the circuit but it is not more than the capacitor voltage so the capacitor when it equal or more than the capacitor voltage the capacitor is going again into the charging position and we get the output voltage again a uh, smaller pulse ripple voltage ripple is greater when we use the smaller value of capacitor small capacitor voltage when we use the large capacitors we get smaller ripples like that we use half wave rectifiers. What happen when we use full wave rectifiers? Full wave rectifiers can be given a smaller ripples as compared to the large ripples or large slopes. So the ripple factor can be found from R is equal to VRRT and VDC. VDC is the average voltage of output voltage of DC current while VRPP is the average or peak to peak ripples voltage. We get these questions from this book. We now discuss only how to flow this current and we get the ripple voltage or average DC voltage. This is again an example of uh, above lectures. Sir current. When we close the switch, what happens? The input voltage is if uh, at this level and current passing through the circuit and capacitor is fully charged and at this level we switch off the circuit of input voltage then this fully charged capacitor is feed back to discharging so this current pass through backward direction and it discharge and 
which make the whole circuit as a short circuit. This short circuiting is called a uh, current passing through this current situation is called a short current. This is the maximum input voltage current due to the capacitor. How we get out from this situation we use only a fuse. Fuse rating is always more than 24% where where 120 voltage is used are larger than 20% where 120 voltage is used. Now we use the voltage regulators. We get the pulsating DC voltage. The voltage regulator has three points, three legs. One is input, second is ground and third is output. There we use two capacitors. This is our filter circuit capacitor and this is our regulator capacitor. This is if we use the larger value of this capacitor and then we get a very small ripples and voltage regulator can be convert into the pure DC form and using with a typically very small capacitor value or uh, from 0 0.1 microfarad to the 1.0 microfarad so this is our complete power supply which work like that we give the AC voltage from this input or 120 voltage we going to use the fuse of 0 0.1 ampere transfer transformer can be used by step down it to the 12.6 voltage of AC then we use the bridge rectifiers and we use the diode of that this is also mentioned in data sheet which are given next near to the exercise then we use the capacitor filter circuit and which can pass through the current and we get the ripples from there to there it is an input voltage which can be regulated and we get the output voltage of 5 volt percentage layer regulations there are two type of regulation linear regulation load regulation linear regulation is given by from this equations the line regulation is equal to the output voltage divided by input voltage multiplied by 100 which we give the percentage linear regulations while the load regulation The load regulation specify us in such a way we use minimum voltage current and maximum voltage current or maximum volt. Maximum load or no load. So we get it from this formula. Now the diode limiter and clumpers. First diode limiters. What happen when we connect we connect the diode in this form or in this circuit? There are two ways 
to get the output voltage. Our current has two parts. First, we see that what happened when the diode is forward bias and reverse bias. When the positive cycle is passed through the circuit and for positive cycle the diode is forward bias. The current can flow through R1 and reach to the point A where it has two ways. First it can pass through the diode, second it can pass through the load resistance RF. As we know the potential barrier of diode is 0.7. So at 0.7 the wave is no change. When it reaches to the 0.7 the diode is forward bias and current can pass through the circuit and go back to the negative terminal. So we get a uh, limiters or clip clippers and we get the clip of this uh, wave shape which clip the positive side and when negative side of the input wheel voltage is going into the circuit the diode is also reverse bias so the current can pass through the low resistance oil and go back to their output voltage same position when we reverse the diode the negative side is now clipping this application also this example also related to the above equation now bias limiters when we add a diode with the battery so there are four type of connections number one the negative side of the diode is connected to the positive side of the battery so the both voltage is added as the both voltage is added so we increase the clumping or decrease the clumping input voltage like that first we clump at 0.7 now we add the battery voltage so we increase it the wave shape same position second form is when we reverse it like that we reverse the diode we reverse the battery so we can get in negative waveform clumping the negative waveforms third we can as it is the diode but reverse the battery our positive side of diode and battery are connected then we get like this form opposite to the first applications of limiter diode the wave shape is like that when we reverse the battery and reverse the diode or the battery negative terminal is connected to the diode negative terminal then we get in this in negative forms and this example is also related to the above topics now the voltage divided by is this is the circuit a voltage divided by is number one the positive limiters we also discuss uh, about it the positive limiter means the positive side of the input wave is cut off 
like I mentioned you above. This is called the positive limiter. I give the example of this. And this is the negative limiters as it mentioned it. And this is the variable positive limiters. We get a limiter increase or decrease with the change of R2. R with the change of this pointer of variable position of diode input. So this is the three type of the limiters. This is also give the example of above position. There he used diode as a positive limiters. Now we use the diode clumper. The diode clumper is basically used for clumping the input voltage like that. When a capacitor is connected with diode and diode is in opposite direction or reverse bias. So when uh, the negative wave shape is entered in this loop, the diode is forward bias and it conducts the current. When the diode is for forward bias, it can uh, charge the capacitor at uh, this value and we get the output voltage like that when negative side of the input voltage or negative wave of the input voltage the diode is forward biased the capacitor is charged and this charge capacitor is discharged at output cross door resistance RL like that. It uh, can increase the initial point of the input voltage and we get this at negative form and capacitor is discharging at uh, this level and from there to there and minus negative side that shows that the diode potential barriers and again we repeat the same process this clumping affects the time constant rc and it depends upon c and r of the circuit also show that when we use the positive side the clumping is going to negative and we use the diode is also in opposite directions as compared to the this there we give the negative and we get positive while the diode is in negative wave shape in forward bias on the other hand, in positive wave shape, diode is in there is forward bias. When the positive cycle is going on and the diode is forward bias, then we get the result like that. This is also the example of uh, above topic. Okay, thank you.